the process itself is relatively simple. You just interpret it like you interpret a dream. Supposing you have a dream of whatever it is, and I know you well enough to know what that dream probably means, or that specific part of the dream, and I said, oh, that's your father used to wear that kind of hat. You must be have been dreaming your, about your father. Whatever hmm. pieces of the dream are, the therapist interpret them as well as he or she can. Now, sometimes that's not so easy. Sometimes you get the wrong interpretation. But the wonderful thing about schizophrenia is that if you hit the right interpretation, the response is instant. Now, that's not true of neurotics. In neurotics, you have to go hunting and looking in it. You might not find out till next week and whatever. The schizophrenic, right away, you know you've got it. And that helps them resolve what's going on right now. If but I, how does that prevent it from coming back all the time? If I interpret it correctly, right, what happens is that piece of your thought process comes up to the surface, and it'll stay there. You, you to that extent, awaken the patient. Of course, if you if you don't interpret it correctly, nothing will happen. It'll just fall right off. And does it feel like, oh, this is one of those things where you're like, oh, we just had a breakthrough that it yeah, kind of pulls that's out? that's right. And do people have to go through multiple processes of this, finding the uh -huh. kind of thing to pull out? Or is it usually yeah. one and done? Like, hey, we finally found it. All right, we did it and we're done. No, it keep it's, going? it's usually several. Yeah. Several parts, yeah. But the patient knows it. The great thing about it is the patient feels better when they discover it. Towards the end, when everything is pretty fairly resolved, they start feeling foggy. Mm -hmm. You know, and it really is. They look like somebody who's just waking up. The patient has to feel that at least you're trying to understand them. It's not always successful. You don't just slough it off and feel, well, you know, I don't have to understand that. That's just crazy talk. Well, that crazy talk is the where I say the patient's always right. And you're wrong. You don't get it. You're wrong, not the patient. For some reason, I can't be direct. Because mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm having trouble or I'm comfortable being super direct. So I'll kind of speak in riddles and some sideways thing. And I want the person to understand me. I want, you know, mm -hmm. for some reason, I'm not comfortable being direct. But then if you get dismissed, you feel like shit. Uh huh. So I, and that's yeah. one of the major problems. They're terribly lonely. I had to figure out which symbol was going where and and translate it to English, then translate it back into schizophrenia, then give my answer to her. That's what That's I mean. Really that good. nightmare feeling is gone. Mm -hmm. it, it's something you may remember. It's something that felt like a dream to you, but I don't know how I got there. You know, they, mm -hmm. they do forget. When they come out of it, she said, did that really happen to me? I can't believe it. 